everyone hey I, I messed up stop yelling you don't have a microphone i can let him know uh grease messed up as you know he's like all right let's go but he wasn't actually ready to go so he got excited it's normal um so i'm gonna filibuster here um because so i'll give you a little bit of uh I know, i'm I, no i'm t i'm talking you do you work and get it right. I was going to say what we uh, normally do is I have the console down here that I'm recording into so that we have the audio for the podcast feed. But we uh, I had to send that off for repair. If you're at Whiskey Weekend, you heard uh, Chad's channel having a pop uh, during our live event. Um, so I sent that off to get serviced and get repaired. So we're at Grease's house, and whenever you let Grease have a, reset his password, um, this is, this is I, we should have just not started it and just like paused and circled back. But Dude, um, we're, the, we're the most we're the most bourbon junkie thing ever. Yeah, no, this is literally Dan and Sean right now. Yeah, so um, what we were doing was going to. Uh, record over here through Grease's uh, equipment that he has set up and he forgot to set up the recording so I'd have the multi-track for the podcast. Um, but as you can see, he's he just updated his password. Um, that is not going to keep hackers out. I will just let you know that and we are going to soon go. But if you're a patron right after our live, we're doing a bottle giveaway because we hit 150 patrons and I think we're at 154 four now so thank you all for your support through patreon um but because of that we're doing a bottle giveaway right after this live so we'll go back live on youtube but it won't be public it'll be for our patrons you'll see the link there and that'll be a fun thing so some of you will win some swag and some bottles i think we said five are we doing five bottles so that's exciting um other than that other housekeeping items really wish that we were starting the show what we're probably going to do is we're going um, hey, to restart the show oh golly all right use talk for a okay. second oh, oh. yeah because i know how to do this part you are so dumb hey hey uh, you don't hey, have to yell i know i don't think i don't think i'm loud enough in the mic you're i think you're fine you think so I don't know. Y'all, I, I, I mounted Hold my on. lights in here. Check and I, one, check. And I mounted. Now you talk. Check one, check, check one, check. Oh, it looks like it's going, bro. Yeah, it is. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, All right. Do. So and it's going. Now that we're here, right? And how do I get this big again so I can see all those beautiful <laughs> comments? I don't think you can. <sighs> I don't. I, you know what? How do I start? How do I roll that video again? There's a couple. Do that, roll the video again. I don't want to. No, because I need to ramp up. You need I to, want you to do. You need to listen to me. You need to amp up, ramp up. I said, "Dum dum, listen with your two ears on the side of your head." All right. Well, you don't have any authority. Is this what to we speak. call a clean break? Yep. We're. Uh,
Welcome back to the podcast, everyone. I'm Will, and I'm over here with my technologically savvy co-host, The Grease. Say hello, Grease. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? It's fun. We're fun. There was a technical glitch at the beginning, and it was all my fault. And then by glitch, it was you just didn't set up. Well, and then we were running the intro again, and I was over here just trying to get into the spirit, <laughs> into spirits. And I realized that we don't have any glasses. Well, funny you should say that because um, did you bring glasses for, for myself? Because I know you you have a whiskey nook. I have. You have an entire did you bring an extra one. No, I brought one for me because I knew you wouldn't have anything down here for me. But uh, you have this entire room of whiskey and all this equipment. And the one thing you need to drink whiskey is the whiskey, right? Part A, right. and a receptacle to drink from, part B. And you have only 50% of that. But I did, was looking around here, and I think you're going to be drinking out of uh, the Stand Strong plastic uh, Buffalo Trace cups tonight. I don't remember the last thing I did in these. You're in sample, <laughs> dude. Oh, <laughs> uh, is it is it Orange County? The one we like, dude. Can I score some of your piss? <laughs> yeah, yeah, with Jack Black and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. If I don't score, if I don't score some piss, I'm gonna go to jail. <laughs> Okay. Unappreciated movie. Yeah. I I love that movie. I do too. We are the same height. That, that is, is neat. neat. Yeah, he was hammered. Was Hats that go theory. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? I, I love that movie. Um and then when he has to backtrack, he's like electrical fight. Yeah. Electrical <laughs> so what we're doing today is we, we saw this pop over on the internet over the weekend, and one of our favorite kind of budget bourbons that we talk about a lot. And I think um, between us and it's bourbon night, I think we may have uh, talked too much about it because it now our favorite um, budget pour, Evan Williams, 1783. Heaven Hill is kind of revamping. And, and someone posted a picture that was like a publicity shot in podcasters over the weekend of this new bottle. It looks more stately. It doesn't look as bottom shelfy. And it is uh, 90 proof instead of the 86 proof that we're so used to. And so I, I saw some people got some media samples like it's bourbon night. They did it. Um, I went to the liquor store to get a few bottles for some of the stuff we're doing after this when we do uh, like our YouTube content that's not live. Um, and I was just going through and I saw 1783. And Justin, our buddy Justin, was working today. I hung out with him, Justin Wilson. And so I was talking with him and I was like, hey, do you know that they're updating the proof and the packaging on Evan Williams 1783? He said, no, I didn't. And so I grabbed him. I'm like, I'm going to pick up a bottle. He's like, yeah, I'm going to probably take one home with me today too because that's, you know, good to know. But so then we picked it up <laughs> And right behind it was the whole shelf behind the one old bottle were all the new ones. And so it was on the shelf at $15.99 at, at this particular store. In our area, you can get it anywhere from $13 to $18. I've seen it at a couple shops that had it overpriced. But uh, we heard that it may be going up to $19.99. But I was able to definitely score it today for the $15.99. I might have price. called Chad on the way home. Okay. What did he say? And I said, Chad. Because y'all did this last night. When When is this supposed to be released? The new bottle. The yeah. new expression. And he's like, I don't know. I was like, well, we found one today on the shelf. Yeah. And it, was, it, it wasn't even in the system yet. They didn't have a skew in it. Right. They clearly changed the, the skew because the um, barcode rang up of the old one. And she was like, something's not ringing the up. The barcode did not ring up out of the old one. No, the barcode rung up on the old one because I bought an oh, old one as well. Oh, I thought you meant you they scanned the new one. No, and no, no, it rang no. up as the right. Old one. So then she just scanned all the bottles real quick. She's like, oh, something didn't ring up. And I was like, OK. And then she went back to me. She's like, oh, it's it's this one. I go, uh, well, that one is like the same as that one. They just updated the bottle. And she's like, oh, checks out. Beep. And just scanned the old one twice. Right. So I don't know if it's I mean, maybe. I mean, you weren't. No, I wasn't lying. wrong. You, you, and I mean, the price tag on the shelf said $15.99 where it was labeled. Right. So it wasn't so like I. Here's my th Here's what I taught a chat about from its bourbon night today. I said, do you, because typically when we get those media kits, right. media samples. Right. I mean, you at least have two weeks 
until it's coming out. Yeah, before because at that they point the they're typically there. they ship it to the people. Yeah. And they also ship it to a distributor at the same time, which then has to get it through the system and then send it to its accounts and people have to order it right for their accounts. So that's also even if it's yeah, the same you're not dealing with an allocated product. Yeah, it's, like, it's this even if like, it's the same day it's shipped out, it it's still going to take a few weeks to get through the system of the three tiers as opposed to going direct to, to distillery to medium. Is yeah. immediate. Excuse me. So, um, I don't, I don't know if it, I don't know if the media samples were sent out late, or if yeah, a if distributor it, it, messed up and went ahead right. and sent. It could have been early. like they had it in the warehouse, but it wasn't supposed to go out yet because they got it to all the distributors like release at this date and someone messed up and was like, Oh, there's an order for an, two cases of, of 1783. And they just sent them to the right. store. Right. Cause I went into other stores. Cause there was a couple things that like old granddad 114 is not easy to find in our area. anymore. Right. right. I went to a couple stores and all of them had old bottle 1783. None of them had the new bottle except for the store I went into. Right. Show them so, the bottle. Let's show uh, the bottle. So yeah. Let's so what bottle. we're gonna do is we're gonna do a um a kind of a, a head to head tonight. Yeah, so well, Joe B gave me this old. Oh yeah. Show that. Uh, one liter, seventeen eighty three, and that's the eighty six proof as well. So and then it, we have that's from like the nineties. Okay. So we're yeah. gonna do three of them. Right. And this, then we have this does not chill filtered. This is. <laughs> This that, is current ish. That's uh, cloudy. Evan Williams, 1783, 86 proof. This one I bought today. Uh, this one's been open. Um, this one is going to be a fresh crack. And then, okay. Did you, did you spit in this? It is cloudy, Will. Like, I can't even. No, that's the glass it. is smudged. The glass. Is smudged. This is smudged glass. It's like <laughs> oh, okay. dirty. Oh, okay. uh, it's called a dusty grease. That's what we call it. Um, and then this is the new bottle. So this is God, I need it's to see stately. It. It's 90 proof now. A extra aged in white oak. And so I actually read on the website because they already put it up. Wait, does this say extra aged? What I does that know. mean? Is that are they dag? Are they throwing out buzzwords? Well, they are, but on the website it says it's six to eight year in here. So which I think is pretty cons I I I'm pretty I don't know. sure. I don't know how old the 1783, the old stuff was. I think it, I think I it thought was it was four six. to six. Okay. I think it's four to six. That's six to eight. It says six to eight. No, it did on their website. On oh, Kevin Hill's okay. website. All right. Yeah. They don't want to throw so, it on the bottle. Cause I love this bottle upgrade. Uh, yeah, it looks great. That's where I'm afraid that they're going to charge $5 more and we'll see how it is side by side. So okay. you well, have to drink out of your if, plastic cup unless you want me to stall again for you and you run upstairs. No, I'm good. Except I have, I just, I've got you another cup, bud. I got this barrel proof Stellum in here. Oh yeah. Give me another cup. I don't want to. I don't want to burn my palate up so fast. Right, so we're going to start with. The hey, if y'all watching, hit that like button and share it with your friends. We, hit I the mean, line. we have, we appreciate it so daggum much. Yes, you got to aerate it in the bottle because it you, was a little cloudy. What? Oh, is that a dude? That's a freaking loogie in the bottom. I no, swear no, on my I, life. I, what is not that? A loogie? That's just like. Oh, that's a culture. No, it's not. Neither of those. What's a cul? <laughs> I just said that because I've heard that people say that before. What is in that stuff? Why are you touching me? Kombucha. That's a uh, the mother. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? That's what they, it's what it's called. That thing. The freaking blob in there. Yeah, it's called the mother. I think. What? Yeah, yeah. Psych stream. Oh. Natalie just said it's the mother. Um. This. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It's pretty cloudy. It, it doesn't actually look cloudy in my glass. It, it uh, smells pretty good. It's very. Oh. For a glass bottle, I, there's a little library book on the tail end of that. Yeah. Which I'm okay with. Honestly, it's very light and, and kind of like um, not a ton of flavor to me. Mm hmm. Like this, I, I feel like the upgrade is going to go from this one to the yeah. current eighty six proof. I don't mind it though. It it's just I would ex I would expect this to hang around a little bit more. Yeah, 
and it's not. All right. So I feel like th these two are the real. Uh, this is the real test. Yeah, I just like, brought that because it was fun. That was a that was a and um, Joe B gave it was a nice present. Joe B gave me it was a pallet warmer. Yeah, it it just kind of falls flat. There's not a ton on that old one. So mm -hmm. Scooby. Hold on. Wait, Scooby. Scooby. That Scott Pigsley said it's called a Scooby or Scoby. The mother. <laughs> the mother. The mother's Scoby. Just the, the freaking yeast blob or whatever is that? Is that a yeast? It's yeast, right? I don't think it's yeast. You're thinking of like a sourdough yeast or something. I don't think it's yeast in kombucha. I think I don't think you I don't think you know what I'm talking about at all. I know a hundred percent what you're talking about. No. I don't know that you I think you're conflating a few things. Conflating. Some would say inflating. I would not say conflating. Oh, big Vic. Big Vic, what? Hey, we got a super chat. It's blue. Oh, what's what up, up guys? guys? Oh, this is for Grease's Glen Karen. Okay, Marcus. Big Vic. I hate to break it to you. They're like seven dollars. So we need somebody to, to I'm just kidding. Y'all don't do that. No, so. no. I think that Glenn Karen is probably a dollar ninety nine. This is definitely <laughs> I'm pretty sure these are free if you just wink at somebody in the gift shop. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that like these are like, oh, you need you need a Coke. Here you go. It's the mother bourbon egg, Justin Jenkins said. Mm. Oh okay. man. Integrity of this whiskey is way better. Yeah. It's a fresh crack. Smells great. 86 um, proof, but the nose already coming in. Coming this in really is nice. this is one of the most like when I say crushable. Oh, when I say crush. Okay, for they have twelve ninety nine. It was fifteen ninety nine at the store I was at. So either they've already raised their price, or like I said, I went to um, Franklin Wine and Spirits the other day. Yeah. Uh, and their price are a little bit higher. They had it for eighteen dollars. So I'm like, I'm not paying eighteen dollars for this. Because I knew there were stores I could, because yeah. I was like, I want to go get a few, because I know that people are, uh, uh, oh, Jason, you don't need to do that, man. It's still not. Jason uh, gave $19.99 for a new decanter. I don't know where my decanter is. It sauntered. Dixon stole it at Dixon one point. Dixon stole it at Whiskey Weekend, yeah. and he, but he was told to steal it, and then, of course, Dixon backed out last minute. He set it on a table right next to the door. And then someone, I think, did steal it. Do you think Jason stole it? Is that why? <laughs> I, I wish that would be incredible if, <laughs> no. if Jason has like a shrine to your decanter. Be like, hey, I'm sorry, bro. This um, is for a new decanter. This is for a new decanter. Here's the, I think I paid like 10 bucks for that thing, though. Maybe yeah. maybe less. It was in a... Oh, yeah. Natalie said it, quote, magically disappeared. End okay. quote. Oh, is, okay, that's quote. Okay, so Ty has it. Yeah, he must have Ty it. Ty definitely has it. So next time we're at a Thai Wait, show, details are fuzzy. I'm pretty reappear. sure Ty gave it back to me. Oh, that and could my be. wallet. He's the well, one. Your that's... wallet. He didn't steal. He found because well, no, you left. Yeah, it. but then he. You he leave your it. wallet everywhere. Well, he kept it from me for two days. That's because you never went to fetch it. Oh, I was fetching it. I just didn't know where to fetch. Um, so. I love this. I didn't know I needed to. Send I'm going to go everybody. depending on what this tastes like. The new one. It, and it honestly could taste very, very, very similar. Yeah. Uh, just a little bit more proof. I They have handles of this uh, for 22 bucks. It's 25, 26. OK. Uh, today at, I saw that store. they had cases of handles. Like, you know, in the big open section where they have boxes of stuff. Sounds like that it store you went to, are, you just go plus three on everything. You it just, sounded, you it sounded like they really do a lot of movement of Evan Williams, uh, 1783. So much so that's how they ended up with this because they just keep it on reorder. Mm. So. Right. Um, let me go ahead and just say this off the bat. We just raved about this, but you have to understand this is a $15 bottle. Okay. 86 proof and does it, it drinks like a 90 proofer. We rave about this because of the price and the flavor. It, it's an it's an incredible flavor. We, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. No, I'm saying yes. This is this is one of our this is our favorite bottle, $15 or less. I would definitely say that about I would say this consistently. We rave about it. I would say, show. and I, I think at that price point, it's definitely one of the best things you can buy. Like if you go that's, to a store and buy fifteen dollar whiskey, okay, that's kind of exactly what I just said. No, I know, I agree, but I, I also think it competes with stuff. It punches above its weight class too. What do you mean? I don't know. There was a joke in there, and I froze. 
Because you didn't fully understand what I well, said. Well, no, I didn't want to make like a fat joke. You know what I mean? Because like that's not good. No, that wouldn't be good at all. 2020, dude. So the Byron Hamilton has said the 1783 has always been my favorite. Evan Williams. So I'm super excited to try a higher proof version of it. As are we, the Byron Shoot Hamilton. Down. Right. Well, I'm enjoying it. We're recording two videos after this. Come on. Technically three. Go be lit. Three. Oh, yeah. We're doing Patreon. Yeah, I talked about that. Yeah. Well, but there's new people. Yeah, if you're a patron and you you actually still have time to get in on that. If you want to go yeah, be I a mean, patron. Well, don't tell, don't tell the other patrons because they'll be like, what the heck? Dude, they came in last second and got a bottle. Well, we'll do it again. We are giving away. See, Eric Thompson says Evan Williams Bottle and Bond is a great $16 pour. I like 1783 better than Bottled and Bond. Yeah, I, And that's where I'm a little concerned that this may... Bottled and Bond, to me, is... T way cornier it's way it tastes younger that's why i was wondering if even this if in their stuff they were using four year stuff um but the, i think the bottle and bond is is probably just right at four years uh i mean maybe six it could be six I but thought i had one but i, I don't see it. i've I, it tastes younger and the proof on it doesn't necessarily do it a service to me i think that the 86 with the water on the 1783 kind of mellows it out. So it, it just smells oakier to me on the nose. All right, let's see what the, I want you to, I, you have to nose it because let me go. The words that are coming out of my mouth like this doesn't. Oh yeah. Did you want to smell my arm? Yeah. No, that's what smells oakier. It's your arm. That smells pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. You bathed today. I can tell. Had some... All right. The nose, um, you know, I, I understand what you're saying. I also don't know if that's a subconscious thing like coming through, but it also just smells really similar. I need a second glass to side by side is what I would say. Like it to me on the nose, <laughs> on the nose, it's not this is the same stuff. It's though, not so. it's not that much different just on the nose. So let's see. It's great. It's good. Yeah. I think it tastes a little bit more like the bottle and bond. I get more corny, earthy. Well, that, that doesn't make sense. Why? Why does it not make sense? You're saying that the extra the extra 2% water might have softened it a little bit more and, and taken care of the... the could. Edge. It could. I mean, it's that's... For proof, man. A little proof goes a long way, as our good buddy Joshua Steely always says. And happy birthday to him, by the way. Oh, today. Joshua, today is Joshua Steely's 40th birthday. Y'all need to so, light him light him up on our podcasters group. Yeah. Just ta somebody tag him. And just everyone say happy birthday and Every say thank you for all you do for the community. And everyone, let's just have a drink to him. Oh, because he is he's well, good don't, people. Don't have that. We won't. We'll have a Buffalo Trace product in his honor. Right. We we have we have options. Oh, um, Weller 12. Because that's his favorite. That's his jam. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to go back to that after I drink some Weller 12. Water. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I, we do need to go back right now while we. Yeah, yeah, let's We've go back it before we gauge. do our pour. Because honestly, it. I haven't watched Chad and Sarah's video yet. Do you know what they said about no, it? No, I don't. We need to research that. Well, I didn't want to skew our views. I didn't either. That's why. I, on purpose. You know, that's so why I, I wanted to be honest about it. <sighs> uh, I Here's the problem. I don't know that it's that much different. But. I my mind like psychologically. I think it's a. I like the eighty six proof better. I don't know. I'm gonna shoot this and go back. We're. I mean, we're in trouble. We're so in trouble because, like, because oh, we don't have multiple glasses, so we're having to shoot what we have just to circle back, and then we forget, and then we gotta circle no, back, back. Dadgummit. Whose fault was that? We're at your house. I have, this would have never happened at my house. I have a thousand glasses, unfortunately. I have a thousand. They're just all upstairs. Why don't you keep... Why don't you have a small cabinet 
that you can keep 50 glasses in right here. I know. I just pointed there. Why don't you have that? I'm going to get one. I don't understand how there's so there's much room for never, activity. No, there's so much room for glasses. There's so much room for activity because I because I mounted my lights. I'm so upset. You're not upset. No, I actually am upset. You were able to never, walk in here freely. No, I like that the lights are mounted, but I am upset that there are no glasses ever in this. Nook. There's a. I mean, there's a lot of glass in here. There's glasses. There's a Moscow mule glass bug. You have actual devices for which to hang glasses. Right. That that device is empty. Mm -hmm. These are Glen racks oh, God. by our buddy. Brandon Mathis. I wasn't prepared to push that, but you can buy that. I on, uh, is it? Finish that. Is it Glenrack? No, it's it's something. Um, you can buy those at the podcast. Oh, yeah. com slash store. Well, I think we just sold out of the four piece. Oh, did we? Yeah. Well, we can always get more if people want them. Ask. But yeah, uh, but we do have these two. The um, two set. The yeah. two set is awesome. That you and and on it, I actually like the two set better mm -hmm. because you can set this on a shelf and it basically takes up the same space as a as a one bottle. Right, the four is pretty big. Glen Rack, and it's uh, oh, here it is, Oak Mountain Workshop. Well, theglenrack.com is where is you can get it if you want to get it's them cool. personalized for yourself. Now they're going to be, you know, thank you, Ben Dur, for putting the podcast.com slash store. Oh man, hey everyone, our, everyone, our, our ad or what are they called? Wrenches, wrenches, yeah, are moderators, ad, moderators. That's it. Not hey admins. everyone, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I appreciate that. Yeah, we know mm -hmm. we we definitely appreciate that, and we appreciate Jason. Hey, Breeze, did you, you see were, my watch? You were not a hey. Look what I'm wearing. Oh my gosh! Yeah, look at that. I know. Look at mine up there. No, I see it. I mounted it. I saw it. You didn't mount it. You set it on a shelf. Jason's. Jason's I don't think you know what mounting is. What you did with oh, the lights? That's mounting. I, I've mounted. I've definitely. <laughs> I've I've mounted. There it is. Oh, I've mounted. Um, what oh what are they called what what, what are those things? what are mountings called mounties yeah you know in canadians eh i thought they were monties no that's the full monty that's what you do prior to mounting cheers you love that i did love that but i still don't know what monting is or monty <laughs> so uh cheese whiskey bar it's our buddy dustin he says so the 86 proof fresh crack wins right well we're going back to it um, I'm telling wait, you, the nose you is that? no. You haven't. Did you shoot it yet? Yeah. Now the nose is better. The nose is better. There's more caramel. Are you serious? Yes, that? there's more caramel on it. Well, I just shot the ninety less proofer. Corn, Let me go ahead and caramel. tell you something. If I'm taking shots, the ninety proofer just absolutely got me to let's. I'm ready. Here's the deal: ninety proofer in a in a cocktail in an old fashioned. I think it's going to be a go to. I would I would drink that neat. And I'd shoot it. I like the other one better, Need. I'm about to go buy a case of handles. Mm. He's not wrong. The 86 is, proof is better. It tastes compared it's to the sweeter. Compared to the 90. And this is a both fresh cracks, which I love that we did that. This tastes like an 80 proofer compared to this. Uh right. The 90 proof does taste a lot more hot. And it's it's just more it's a little bit more aggressive. And that's what I think about the bottle and bond. I think the bottle and bond is a little bit more harsh. I'm dead serious. I'm buying handles of this tomorrow. I just said that. I, I told you where to go. Well, you can go any they're they're everywhere. Well, the fact the handles weren't necessarily everywhere. People didn't just have yeah. handles of it on the shelf. I mean, you can you can find it. Oh golly. Hands down. Uh oh, they done screwed up. I don't know if they've the bottle's so much better. I don't know if they've screwed up. Here's the reason. no, no. I, I mean, for them, smarter move. It looks better. People are gonna buy right, this you're, you're at ninety proof. This is a com a computer for. I don't want to say. I don't. Here's the deal. Here's if that problem. if that gets an elevated position on a shelf and it's twenty two bucks, then that's sitting next to a Buffalo Trace or something. Right. People are going to be like, "Well, I can't find something. I'm going to reach for that." There's a lot of smart people at Heaven Hill, so yeah, they've strategically done this for a reason. So they saw a gap somewhere in either their supply, so 
or the market. But I, what I don't understand, and I'm, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. What I don't understand is at 86 proof, this is so cheap and so good. Like I've actually, I actually talked to Bernie Lovers about it. Yeah. And I said, bro, this is so freaking good for the price. And he was like, absolutely. He he concurred. He was like, it's- if they keep it at the same price, I think it'll the elevated packaging, ninety proof for people like us that are that. I think this is going to be twenty bucks. I think you're right. So Perry just said the stellar. Uh, he said the ninety proof is stellar stuff. I think this is going to be what they replace the six year green label with. Um, except for six year green label was still Kentucky only. This is this is national release. This is everywhere. Well, and so, and it's actually just it's replacing itself. Well, I think what he's saying is, I mean, I understand You're, what he's, he's saying. He, okay, so he's saying that there's too much in that realm already. Well, they they we knew that that was phased out when the bottle and bond was phased out. You know, so I don't think that I understand what he's saying, but I I think within the business strategy, I don't think yeah. it's necessarily it may not be even that thought because this is a national product and it's, it's an elevated uh, Andrew Boland says it'll be $25 after everyone sees this, after your seal of approval, it's going to skyrocket. No. See what we're saying is <laughs> <laughs> go buy the old yeah, one. Yeah, that's what we're saying as quick as possible. I don't know. It is really good. It's really good. I, I you're yeah, right. No, it's they not, clearly, it's they clearly are making it a play to be, a a call bourbon not a bottom shelf bourbon and this this was a bottom shelf drinker and this is going to be a call bourbon this is going to be uh you can have it in a cocktail that i guarantee you they're trying to get this into bars that is a very very good call yep because what because a lot of times too it's like oh yeah we have a consumer favorite sure right, right. but the bars aren't they're not going to touch it Right, but this elevated packaging, 90 proof is better in a cocktail. Like bartenders aren't going to want to make cocktails with 86 proof whiskey, right? Right. It's hard. Yeah. If they get their ambassador, I mean, unless it's a well, but I mean, it could be a well. That's a really good well. I don't think it's going to be a well. No, no, no. This this was more of a well. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. This was, but I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily know if this was a go to well for people if they see the proof. Right. Because you can get a hundred proofer for almost the same price. Yeah, it's not. Now, here's the deal: what bars don't care about is how a well bourbon tastes. A hundred percent, because most of the time, well bourbon's going into cokes. Right. Exactly. And right. So that's why this this. Yeah, you just say well bourbon. I mean, cocktail. how it's, many times have we I'm been? One more time. How many times have we been in another city, and we're just like, I mean, early on in our professional careers, we were not, we were not wealthy. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> we were not making a lot of money, so we would literally. I love how Grease just like slow rolls. Like I used to not be wealthy, now I've no. got a. Well, I'm not wealthy at all now. <sighs> I'm like I'm like begging for somebody. Like, hey man, y'all, got, can I get can I just get a George T. Stag close to retail? No, um, it's because he lost ten grand in uh, <laughs> Doge coin. <laughs> it's Doge, okay. No, I call it doggy. Do Doge, man. Hey, um, no, uh. Christopher M when, says when we would go twenty nine ninety nine for a handle of seventeen eighty three here in Virginia, um, that's a little high, but I'd still buy it at that thirty bucks for a handle. Yeah. Oh yeah, because I mean you're looking at okay, so that is basically thirteen dollars seven fifty. Yeah. Um, no, when we were in D.C., we were throwing darts for mm-hmm. hours. Yeah, and we were just pounding well in cokes, well bourbon and cokes. Like we didn't, we didn't get anything good. You know what? I will drink. Yeah, no, you're right. I'm no, pretty yeah, sure it's. Um, I think it was ten high. Uh, yeah, some places with ten high. I, I know, you know a lot of places <laughs> used old old charter. This destroys all of that. This um, the ten high. I just went back to this again. I will drink this a million times over Evan Williams bottled and bond. This is. I agree. I don't like Evan Williams. Infinitely Bond. better than the bottle and bond. I don't like Evan Williams. Bond. Um, but I, I'm telling you, it. man, it's it's really good. It's, yeah, I would. I would. I'm 
if I, it's twenty dollars, I'm gonna say it's great for twenty bucks. There's a lot of flavor there. There are some whiskeys that when they make the jump to, I'm like it turn like if they tweak it, and I guess maybe I'm just like a homer or something that doesn't like change. Like I love to like you know dance with who I went to the dance with, you know, and so. <laughs> The fact that they Just, make, I don't like change is what I'm saying. Okay. The fact that they changed. That, there's an easy way to say that. The you, fact you that they changed it, it, uh, it probably weighs on me a little bit, but I genuinely think these were both fresh cracks. I genuinely think I like the flavor of the 86 proof better. That being said, this did not turn me off where I wouldn't tell people this is still a really good value. You've probably not heard of. I think that's the best way I'd, to say that. Okay. What Homer. are your thoughts? You don't, you've never heard the term Homer? <laughs> no, I just said, instead of saying, okay, Boomer, I just said, okay, Homer. That's fine. I'm fine with that. I have no problem with that. Really? The Brennickies are watching, so I'm really happy about that. Right. Tammy's freaking boss. Mm -hmm. So, so is uh, David? David? Dad Gummit, you are awful. Brian. Brian. It's Brian Brennicky. Wait, hang on. What's the, who's the, I think you should. Eric Thompson says, I think you should blind the 8690 and bottled in bond. So, like, take 1783 and then throw in Evan Williams. Uh, but the uh, Evan Williams bottled in bond because these are all Evan I, Williams. Well, I. We would, but we don't buy that. That's terrible. No, oh, I see it. I see it. It's behind America. It's behind America. Oh, gosh. Yes. This is all working How's out. everyone doing tonight? I hope you're having a good Monday evening. Thanks for joining us here over on the podcast. Okay, so this is going to be a fresh crack. Is this... Uh, we got to get rid of that neck pour, this though. This is, though... This is a little bit older, because they've updated the label. Are you that stupid? Oh, let's get rid of the neck pour. <laughs> I hate you. You're so dumb. I, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I taste a big difference in this. That. Also, if you just opened it and just left it for a day, you would taste the same difference. You don't. You're just stupid. You just are. You're a stupid human. Not all bourbons are created equal. Okay, let me just shoot that. God, we're in trouble. We're not doing any videos after this. Yeah. Okay. Now, this isn't blind, as our buddy wanted us to do. No, this is not blind. What about the 23 year old 1783 master splint? What? I'm sorry. That's not real. I'm sorry. What? That's not real. <laughs> Dustin's messing with me. Oh, man. I'm going to be honest with you. This nose smells great. <laughs> <laughs> I might be in trouble. I might be eating all of my words, which I'm, I'm intermittent fasting. So I don't need, I don't, I don't want to eat too many. No, he's not wrong. There's a master's blend. What does that bottle look like? Better look like a master. Go to the bottom. What's the picture look like? I'm Googling it. Well, there's no images. No. This is master's blend. This isn't. No, I've had Evan Williams 23. Smell this. But this isn't Evan Williams 23. I thought he said 1783 master's blend. I think he's wrong. <sighs> Well, it smells really good, doesn't it? <laughs> it smells like cinnamon toast crunch. Cin what? Smell it out of this. Smell it out of this. Okay, but that has your like spit in it. Well, yeah, I ate cinnamon toast crunch before I came over. You get not, that? I know. Cinnamon toast crunch. But I mean, I do have a runny nose. It smells great. I, I, I'm. <sighs> Now, now they're blowing up my phone with the master's blend. Pictures. Right. Can you hand me, can you hand me my phone? Because <laughs> Preston Adcock just I could see it from here. His he birthday just was yesterday. Um it was Eric Greenway that texted you. Oh, hell, there it is. There it is. Oh, Evan Williams master blend. <laughs> Everyone's blowing us up like we're idiots. Because we are. <laughs> well, we news, didn't know about it. News flash. Um, how did we not know about it? It's uh, Evan Williams Williams experience uh mm. exclusive, I think. Mm. Um, okay. Try that. I think we are not too far off. No, it still tastes like I remember it there. Yeah. It's, it's not awful. No. I just do like, I, if I'm going to go for a bonded bourbon. Yeah. Old granddad's my jam. Listen, 
if if this is your heat, tr- oh, try this. Oh, yeah, no. If if you are a big fan of, Ev- I actually still think this just. I has, like this better. I do too. This just this has a bite, like like halfway through. It tastes more youthful. Halfway through the finish, like a second or two in. Yeah, the, it, it's just it's got a bite that I think is young. Mm-hmm. Like it, it, but it, it does. Here's the deal. I don't bad. think it's overly tasting young. I don't no, think it no, 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 no. It's it's just it, it doesn't it, have the it's the uh, mouth feel of it. It doesn't have the the age to mellow it as much. Yeah, and it's back mid pal. It's back mid palate on it. That's where the bite is. Golly. Back here, we're screwed, dude. We're so screwed. How many ounces? I feel like we've had six ounces in. How long have we been going? Forty minutes. We're, we're in big trouble. Right, and we you have... know what we're doing for the fifteen. Oh shoot! Yeah, I almost cussed. I know you did. <sighs> Glad you didn't. You just want to go ahead and tell them what we're doing for the fifteen? No. Why not? I want to talk about this a little bit more. Okay. Well, <laughs> I feel no, like I. So here's here's. Oh, I'm... we need to do a birth. Oh, oh yeah, shoot. we'll do that after we get. So here's my final <sighs> thing. Um, this is cool to own. It's not great. Right. This is still my favorite. Yes. These two are very reminiscent of each other. I prefer the 90 proof when it comes to this whiskey. I agree with that. I'm, that's not a, a, a blanket rule for me, obviously. Mm-hmm. And if I, but if I'm going for a bonded whiskey, I'm going and, most likely. And for... you could tell this is a hundred proof, mm-hmm. less water. This is 90 proof. This is darker. Well, Okay, they're also two different bottle shapes. Because well, remember with the, the bottles that we had. Well, look, this is thinner than that one. Not the way I was looking at it. I, I was know, looking through I the thick it, way. Through that, that, that's why I turned it. They look they look the same. No, it's still darker. They look the same. No, okay, man. you are you that's probably yeah, you know what? I'll I'll hey, give it to you. Hey, your ears are better than mine. No, but you know My what the other thing is? There's yours. a black label and that's a white label. I so that's offsetting to you because it, it tells your mind. It tricks your mind. You know color, man. You know that like grading and, and setting a scene. Like I look out into that room and it looks. I literally was looking through the glass, Will. No, but All there was. The way there's, no, but there's, lab, there's labels. There's, my, I'm telling you, man. I understand there's labels. Thing. Hey, we have Patreon. Patreon.com slash the podcast. And we're yeah. about to give a bottle giveaway when we're done with this episode. Yeah, it's in the description, mm-hmm. which we can't say on Patreon, by the way. No, we're just going to do a fun video. Right. It's just going to be a video. But they I police can... that, too. It's Heck crazy. Yeah, they do. I can't, even, I can't even use the words giveaway. Yeah, they find out. Well, they they no, well, they just they flag it before you even post it. I know that's what I mean. They're like, hey, if you're doing a giveaway, this uh, directly violates our whatever, which makes sense terms of service because they want people to pay to get certain things. Right, right, yeah, no, it definitely makes sense, but yeah. it's also stupid. So if we had if we had a level that was just like giveaway, the giveaway level, mm-hmm. level, yeah, then I feel like it would be. I feel like that's fair game. Um, but I don't want to restructure. I'm not uh, saying we restructure. No, I also think that they, I think it's an algorithm. Mm-hmm. So no matter what, you can have a giveaway level and the, you'd have to be like, it's that time. Right. <laughs> like, because I think it still would flag it if you send a message out. Right. Well, all that to say, um, it, it everybody's Patreon's different. And ours, when we give bottles away, it's for all patreon levels okay this is funny it's not priority so it goes this is from donnie new to the channel and just tuning in well thank you we appreciate you being here how are you having an evan williams flight without at least one of the two best evan williams 12 year can stand up to anything (laughs) um i mean it's to evan williams 12 years freaking great no we we love that this so donnie don if, well, if, if 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 I may be so presumptuous, Donnie. Uh, no, I'm just calling him Don. Right. Uh, we're on a first name, no last right. initial basis. Um, the what we were doing specifically was the the uh what still technically current label of 1783, and then what they just updated, and I found both these on the shelf today, and we did fresh cracks on them, and then 
people yeah. were telling us that we're dumb because the bottle and bond is better. And so Grease had one and we grabbed it. I agree with you though, Don. Don E, this is really going to mess you up once you see what's behind here. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I do. I love, uh, I actually love the 12 year. Um, you are 100% correct on that. So um, I would take that one over all of these, obviously, and drop the $120 that it costs. This, though, was 15 So um, I, I think that this Reign Supreme, these two are both very good especially uh, I hope this one's cheaper than the bottle and bond like by a couple bucks. But if it's not, if I mean, the this same, is under 20, I know that's what I'm saying. I hope that this one isn't like a couple bucks more because they're trying to elevate it. Anyhow, I still like this. This one comes in third, but it is better than I remembered, but it's still, you know, like even heaven Hill, the bottle and bond six year, it wasn't my favorite because of some of the nutty flavors in it. Right. It still had some youthfulness to it. It didn't age as gracefully as I would have liked. Um, God, Donnie is going to turn this off. <laughs> He's just like, well, let's pull that one out. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. But, uh, before we get to the 15, <laughs> before we get to the 15, this is for our buddy. Shoot that. Oh, dad gum it. There's no way anything we record later is going to be usable. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is for our buddy, Joshua Steely. I still, I still love this. It's just, it's, it's got a weird finish sometimes. Uh, so Joshua Steely is 40 today. Just a that. Well, why'd you move your cup? Because I didn't want you to keep pouring. Well, I was going to pull back. <laughs> but well. You don't jerk away. <laughs> so Joshua Steely is 40 today. Um, he is a good friend. He's been right. way too good to us. Um, but he's a friend we can just go hang out with and have a good time yeah. and not, uh, worry about anything. You know, it's just, you find friends like that, that, and we found them through like doing this, that, um, they mean a lot and they're good people and you want to do, uh, more and more with them and, and just continue yeah. to find ways to get to know them better. But, um, he works for Buffalo trace and loves the Weller line. Um, and what, <laughs> What? I'm just starting to feel it. We're oh, screwed. Yeah, he works for Weller <laughs> Trace. Loves the Weller line, and uh, Weller Twelve is one of his favorites. And he uh, uh, for, and for hey, rightly, what does rightly he say so, about Weller Twelve? He says it's um, oh gosh, I, I'm going to screw it up now that you put me on the spot. But something to the effect of like it's like uh, like pure American luxury or something. Oh like yeah, that. it's yeah. A, it's American luxury. Yeah, that's what he says. So great. Uh, Oh my god! Great way to talk about it, but this is to him. So everyone watching, uh, if you, whatever you've got, hopefully it's a Buffalo Trace product. But we can't see you, so we can't police you. But um, Heaven Hill, you did. You, the, we love these. But we're gonna raise our glass to our buddy Joshua. Happy birthday, buddy! Uh, hey, this is love on, you. This is so on brand. Can't wait to experience many more uh, whiskeys with you and life events and memories. And cheers! Stand strong, Joshua. He's got a bunch of kids. Like, he better. You're so stupid. He better hang in there. Who got a bunch of kids? So do you. I do too. I'm just. No, it's just us dads freaking rallying together. So dude. Joshua says, "Bottle and Bond is the best under seventeen dollar hundred proof out there, in my opinion." Okay. So in our in our market, it's I'm twenty not, bucks. I'm, it's twenty bucks, and I. I'd rather have old granddad. I'm trying to think of. I'm no, I, I I'm agreeing with Joshua Kohler. Yeah. Um, I'm not, you but, are a huge old granddad ball and bond fan yeah. and I love you for it. And I think, and I, I'm not, and you're right. You're right for you always. Um, no, no, I'm right for the world. Um, I, yeah, I mean, I'm not aware of a bottle and bond that, you know, that cheap, that is that good. Bottled, bottled and bond wise early times because you get a liter for the price yeah but, but i prefer still... evan williams taste over that however yeah the early times bottle and bond is the best value in whiskey as far as i'm concerned all right i'm looking around your room and i saw that stupid pistol whiskey i saw that in a case today at a liquor store <laughs>
Oh, like like this like, is yeah, high like, dollar. Like, it was a hundred bucks. It's ninety nine bucks there. Yeah, look at that. Look at that pistol grip right there. You just want to. Hey, man, you want to pour? I don't know if this is. The... No, don't do that. It's gonna fall out. I'm just holding. Oh, God. Jason's with me on the old granddad. I know because you have a good palate, Jason. Speaking of fallout. Check this out, dude. I got a free. I got from Joe. Speaking of Joe B, Joe B must hate Evan Williams. He gave you this, and he gave me this. This 1999 vintage. Jeez, I know these are good values as well. Oh, and, I agree. The, with the, that. Now they're in the 86 proof range, but these are good values because this is a this one's 10 years old, uh, and it is age stated right. Well, yeah, it has when it was barreled and bottled because it's it's yeah. a single barrel. Yeah. And so um, it's got the wax top. I wish these were 90 proof, but there you can get there's a lot of variation in them, but you can get some really good expressions out of that. And, and it's cheap. It's like twenty three dollars. It's not very expensive. So, well, well, y yes. But and they're now available. they're like, well, they're not the oh seven oh nines now. Is that the release coming up? No, I don't know. 2011, 2011, 2012s. Yeah. All right. We got to go to the 15. We bro. do. So on the Shoot. 15, Breeze decided, hey, uh, Dan and Julie like uh, good friends of the channel, good friends well, in life. Speaking of birthdays. And happy birthday, Dan, like the right. big 5 0. 5 0. So we're celebrating a 4 0 and a 5 0. Right. Daggum Dan like being a daggum king of florida down there so he uh was very kind he and julie sent you and me some obtainium well they sent it to me like well and then they were like oh, grease is not a sharer he's not a sharer I am, so he I, i'm so literally sharing they sent me some as well so thank you to them they're super generous and really uh, wonderful people, but we want to say happy birthday to Dan, but we thought it would be appropriate since they supplied this whiskey to do the 15, the bottle that they supplied. Um, so we're going to drink it in his honor. We're doing a lot of birthday toast tonight. Uh, right. And so that's going to be our 15 whiskey, Obtainium Light Whiskey. Right. And I've already had a pull off of it. Did you drink it out of the bottle? Dadgum Andrew Bowen. What is happening? What did he I'm going to leave say? that up for a minute. Happy birthday, Dan. Cheers, brother. I'm just going to leave that up as we go to the 15th. Okay, I don't know if Andrew... <laughs> I don't know if Andrew knows how this works. Um, <laughs> He does know how it works. He, well, but he just said... All, he, he just... <laughs> definitely... He's not as dumb as you. No, he he's keeps not. glasses near his whiskey. Dude, he just saw freaking Phil Mickelson win it all. In the flesh, bro. He was uh, nestled at the fence line. He did he rush him? No, he like didn't. He didn't. He was Smart. he was, was going to he would he did not want to do that because he was going to get he was getting scared. But he was next to the fence, which I've seen that dude. And he looks like he works out. Like, why would he be scared about it? All right. So we're going to go to the 15. Hit the music. Great. Yeah. All right, All right folks, if you're I'm gonna, new to the channel, I'm going to clear this off. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe By the and way, ring this, the bell. I'm talking. Well, but explain to them that we're recording a podcast, and that's why we're like. It's so cute that you think I don't know what I'm doing after five years when I'm the one who, who makes this happen. When it comes to making sure we hit the numbers, put making sure we there. get where we get. Put that in there and put that in there. I thought you were just going to clear it for me. So what we do is a podcast called The Podcast. Uh, if you're new to it, uh, thank you. Subscribe to the channel because we do them live here now. But then we put the audio version out wherever you get your podcast. Spotify, Apple, uh, Google Store, all, all the works. And um, we have something called The 15. That's a review portion of the show. It was originally created where we said what we would do is we'd pour the whiskey up. We'd wait 15 minutes, drinking it, getting our thoughts, and then we would pour it, and then we would uh, come back and review it. And so we'd hit. Well, music. the rule was is like, it, like if you if you drink a bunch, and you just wait 15 minutes, your your demeanor's gonna change. I don't think bit. that's a rule. I think I mean, that it's was my the, rule. That was the concept. It was and, based on my metabolism at the time. But so what happened is we never actually, maybe one time we got talking and waited no, 15 minutes. Way early on, 
we did it every time like a cup like two times but way early on the show was only like 25 30 minutes right so so now it's still a thing we pitch to every time right but we also um Oh, we got a freaking drink light whiskey. Um, but now, now we just uh, what did they? To it. What did they? Okay, well, we'll talk about it. All right. So, Do you know what they barrel it at though? What not proof? specifically, but it's really high. It's very. Yeah, I it's, can tell you, it's just really high. <sighs> All right, take the birthday thing down. It's weird me out. Andrew's not weird me out. Why? I just said this is for Dan Lang. So. Oh my gosh! Remind me. Yeah, you got to screw. You got to. You got to scroll. I understand. I understand. Um, remind you what, dum dum? Remind me to tell you about this awesome experience for Whiskey Weekend Batch Four that uh, me, Chad, and I talked about. And we're back from the fifth. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. I veto it. And we're back from the fifteen. Some say we never left. Will. So what we're drinking is talking to you, YouTube. The YouTubes. Light whiskey. This is Obtanium. This is from Cat's Eye Distillery out of Iowa. This is MGP light whiskey, though. So wait, wait, wait. Cat's uh, what? Are they the ones that do that vodka? Or is that Cat's Head? You're thinking Cat uh, Cat Head? Cat Head. This is Cat's Eye. That's out of Jackson, Mississippi. Okay, so we're like three or four whiskeys away from like full body of a cat. Sure. Great. Um. So kind of like. Kind of like Dan's cat cat head from the Bourbon Junkies. Oh, Dan like Dan, stop talking. Okay, sorry. Dan like thanks Andrew and thanks everyone. Thank you, Will and Grease. Love you both. You, I don't. I don't now I know you like you said Andrew, Dan. Thank you. It's your birthday, (laughs) right? (laughs) So it's Dan's birthday. Thank you for that. I am going to leave that up for a minute because yeah, just leave it up. Just leave. I don't care. So so, um, light whiskey. No, I was saying something. And it was it was unintelligent. No, no, it wasn't. It was there was Damn, there was really something was. we were there was something we were headed towards just a second ago, and I need to circle back to it because it was important. Probably wasn't. Go ahead. Oh, this is so important. I'm glad we circled back, and you let my mind wander back, saunter back. Have you seen? And I don't know how I saw it. This is not going to because. Be I don't know if it was on Dan's, but I got. Can you served, hurry? I got served a picture on my algorithm page, and that's how it happens. And it was Dan, Dan Lank. No, Dan Daniel Shook. Dan Shook. Yes, Bourbon Junkies. Dan, and he is holding a Flemish giant. That's a rabbit. Yeah, it's a breed. <laughs> okay, breed a rabbit. <laughs> okay, it's a rare breed. Because I haven't seen them. Not that rare. Flemish rabbit? Flemish giant. Flemish giant. I feel like I've hocked up a Flemish giant. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like just in like in the middle of like, you know, like spring. Yeah. You just have that Flemish giant. I understand. Giant. It's the most ginormous. It's, it, it's, as, it's as big as a like a 40 pound dog, dude. He's holding this rabbit. And he looks so happy. And so I asked him, I was like, dude. Do you legit like have rabbits? And he was like, wife and kids do. And I'm like, I don't fully, I don't fully get behind that. Unless he's like trying to, you know, embrace the rabbit lifestyle so that his wife likes him more. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause I mean, I've done that before. I've liked things that I don't really like, you know, just to, you know. Yeah, I'm moving on. So, uh, what is light whiskey? Uh, light whiskey was a category that came about in like the sixties when vodka was popular, when people wanted right. something lighter. Like, I actually literally talked to a woman lighter. today or yesterday at the pool and she said, I don't drink any dark liquor. Okay. It's not that dark. I'm just going to keep talking. So w- the category came about because well, everybody was like, I'm light liquor. What you're saying. Are you going to let me talk? You're 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 reverting back into your unhealthy self. <laughs> well, I'm a you're I'm a, an enneagram stupid. I'm a three wing stupid. Stupid. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
So what back to what I was saying is that uh, the 60s, it's when like vodka is really popular. It was also cheaper to produce. And the bourbon companies were really suffering. They had also um, done a lot during the war effort. So they were already kind of strapped for supplies and stocks. And what they needed to do was compete. So this new category came about and it's called light whiskey. And yet we know that uh, bourbon can't go above. I think it's 160. It can't be distilled above. 160 or 165 um, proof that it is distilled at and then put into a barrel at 125 proof. Light whiskey is distilled above, I think, 160 or 165 to 190. Right. So it's distilled higher. So it strips out a lot more of the original base spirit. It can be aged in new or used barrels. Right. And it, uh, I don't know what the barrel entry proof has to be, but so anyhow, it, it did really have a great reputation. I think the, it can, I, the entire purpose there's of There's no it, limit, right? I mean, it's like whatever they just, I mean, whatever they want to put it in that, right? No, there no? may be a TTB regulation. Like because bourbon, there is a limit of what it can right. be. Okay. It, it can't be put in the barrel at the maximum right. off the still proof. They have to cut it down before it. Um, the other thing is that. So one third in the one thirties of this, of light whiskey in the one thirties is, is easy. You're going to hit one four in the one forties on these a lot. We actually, I have had another set, the backbone stuff. Yeah. Wasn't it close to like one there was 140, there was 140 something, 143. But so, yes, yeah, so it's coming off the still hotter. So a lot of light whiskey has higher proof. Now, the light whiskey they were putting out in the 60s um, was not that high of proof. It was 80 proof. So they were distilling it really high and then they were cutting it. And so it was, it wasn't even this dark, which like this looks like a bourbon. Like you could, right. it's lighter, but it wasn't the same as the whiskey that, uh, it this is like, not the like same. This. Now, I mean, not that far. Very light, as in almost like some scotches you see that are like very, very light in color. Right. Some young rye, and so that's what the kind of the purpose of it was for was to compete. Now, some companies is that now, your light whiskey. Yes. Here, let me put. I'm just gonna do this. I haven't. No. I know. I want to lighten up. No. You stay away. So the purpose of it, though, back then, some companies like Cat's Head uh, out of Iowa that are putting out Obtainium and um, High West has done this with like their 16 year light whiskey and uh, Backbone is putting out some eight high age. You know, my realtor got me two bottles of that light whiskey. Like, yes, I know well, you told the story four years ago and you dropped one. I was moving and you sold. One. I opened up the back. I didn't sell it. Did you drop both of them? Both of them. Oh, and they shattered on they the concrete. shattered on the concrete. Um, Sucks. But so all this to say, my whole point is that some brands have like, hey, let's take the category and revamp it. Let's put it out at cast strength because it's going to be really sweet. It's going to have good flavor. Let's let's revitalize this category. And that's what uh, Cat's Eye is doing. And it's it, can, can here's I just, where we go. Can I just say that? I love light whiskey. I know you do. I want to do a barrel pick of light whiskey. You can. I know. Right. Like I want to do it. So light whiskey is going to be higher proof. Can you think it's going to have, it's going to have less uh, like of the fatty acids and things because it's, they're stripped out at a higher proof. So it doesn't give you kind of the, as, this will as, still make you fat. Pretty it, sure. it doesn't do as much of the hangover things that you are afraid, like the things that make you feel bad. It doesn't do as much of that. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing this with you tonight. I'm uh, you're, you're, I didn't know that dude. You've been drinking. No wonder I love light whiskey. You've been hitting your, no, you're wonder, hitting your Dan limit. It, no wonder Dan and Julie freaking like light whiskey. So this obtainium though was distilled on October 13th of 2007. So I think that, and then it was bottled on March 7th of this year. So 2007 14 is 14 year old it is a hundred and this is 13 years in used charred oak barrels, but it's like 13 and a half. And then it's a, a 67.2. Mm -hmm. So 134.4. Yeah. They don't do the math for you. I just did it for you. 
I know. All right, so it's MGP. MGP has a lot of light whiskey stocks. So it's it's uh company. Which they should good. because I'm telling you, buy that MGP stock, dude. Like the, the nose actual stock. Super, super sweet. Don't take financial advice from Greece. MGP is actually taking you should have bought you should have bought cryptos stock. yesterday. Just saying. But also, they were said, basically he on said sale. said the same thing like the week before, and also, you know, that I, well, I bought it then too. <laughs> I love, I love, I got like thirty text messages from Adobe about Audition saying that you've reset your password. Was this you? <laughs> yes. Okay, so we've been drinking eighty six proof, and the highest we got was ninety. Tonight. Right. Now we're jumping to one thirty four point four, and once again, here's to here's to Dan Like. By the way, oh. Hands Cheers. down. Happy Dan, birthday, buddy. Dan, Dan Light has only been... We've only known of this dude for like five months. Not even that. Basically, as soon... Well, four... Okay, so for like four months. As soon as we started doing... As soon as we had Matt on... Yeah. Which was February, with, right? Which is drinking with. So whatever our first drinking with episode was, it was like this, this Dan Light guy. Uh-huh. And then we get off and we're with uh matt on the on the back end of the chat and he's like dude like dan is awesome yeah like, he's so cool so great whatever um and then uh, that's all we knew about him i love Matt. one person Matt's thought he was video, awesome um uh, that was what do the like what does like like or something like that and it messed with my head so much and i had to watch it and i was like oh their last name is like right yeah yeah i picked up on that well, you're you're more clever than. Well, and then I. they did that live together. Right. Matt went down there. Yeah, and hung out. Um, this is fantastic. It's very sweet. It, it, it. You can tell it's a lot higher proof than what we've been drinking, but it doesn't overwhelm you. It doesn't give you a chest burn. It doesn't give you. It doesn't set your mouth on fire. Not that Julie will ever turn fifty. I mean, because she looks like twenty five. But if she does turn fifty and she has a party. Can you imagine? Like, if if we get to go, I really hope we get to go because, like, we'll get. Chris like, is doing a, a side ask. Right? Well, no, no, no. Well, I I would I was gonna just bring a bunch of like like blow up get blow up slides and like stuff like that. Yeah, it's in Florida. Right. I don't know when her birthday is. But hopefully, houses. it's like, hopefully it's like February because February in Florida is like seventy two and freaking great. Yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, light whiskey. Some would say like whiskey because the likes love it. It's good. Good. Well, yeah. Dude, what's the topic we're doing with this on here? Oh, top five hell raisin burnt whiskeys. Mm -hmm. This is definitely on that list because this will make you raise hell like nobody's business. And that's part of the problem I have with light whiskey is that so here's. Because it's so good and no, so no, no, high no, proof. Here's, no, here's what I love about it. And I need to get into it more. But like this is fantastic, right? It'll make if if you're if if you're not the like raising the hands and worship and worship music type person, this'll help. This is so yeah. <laughs> Have you ever heard that uh Roger Krieger song called Everclear? No. Oh my gosh. So Roger Krieger is like a uh <laughs> He's like Texas country, right? Like uh, Pat Green or something. Okay. And so he had the song called Everclear, and it was about they, they someone <laughs> soaked the watermelon to like a Baptist picnic. Oh, in yeah. Everclear, and it, it it's like, uh, dude, you drill out a hole and you pour Everclear in it. And Grease, I understand the concept <laughs> of that. I'm talking about a song. Like I understand. Like they did that at a Baptist picnic. Why are you so upset? I'm not upset because you're looking at me like, oh, yeah, I know exactly how to do it. I'm like, you dummy. I'm just telling you about a funny song. Baptists get He doesn't get it. Crunk, dude. No, you don't. They just don't talk about just, it. You're taking over. You're not listening to me. It's I funny. want to, though. No, you're not. You Because you're like, oh, Baptists get crunk. I was trying to tell you about the song. And you're like, I could tell you how to make the watermelon. Stuff. I've done that 30 million times. What, I your understand. dad a Baptist pastor? Yeah. Continue on. Retired. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. He's also into... He's getting into whiskey. You can't say that on the internet. Really? Yeah. No. He, no. I mean, he's into it because you're into it. He no, just he just wants to support his son. Move on. Um, <laughs> people watch. <laughs> uh, so here's my thoughts on light whiskey, though, as a whole. 
I have had a lot. Uh, I mean, not a lot, like 10, 10 different light whiskeys. I think I've had less. I'm intrigued. Go ahead. And I like them all a lot. Right. But there's not that much nuance between them. They all are very similar. One, probably because they're all coming from MGP. Oh, yes. There's okay. not, people yeah, yeah. aren't producing their own light whiskey and aging up that long. But when I think about it, I'm like, <sighs> so you're saying that I, it's, it's I, harder to, to get differential the, characteristics I, when it's so high. Right, I like this better than the backbones we have, I think, because it's older. Um, and so there's more character. I agree to with it. that. I agree with that. But the problem is, is that I, I feel like to really get something really different mm -hmm. you, you need like a 25 year light whiskey and that doesn't exist hmm. right and so because it's used barrels it's higher proof dude we could buy barrels at mgp and age them up another 10 years i understand that we also have to have a storage facility like i mean yes sure no they'll keep them in there so all this to say i love it this is a buy for me Buy bar or pass. This is a buy. It's I don't know how much it is. Easy but, buy. But if it's a hundred dollars or less, I agree. Yeah, it's look, a fourteen. Look year, up on your phone. Hundred and thirty something proof whiskey. Look dude. up on your phone. But I would say, I, I just don't I, like. You're all in on light whiskey. Yeah, this is fantastic. The but for me is I don't see myself really diving into the category except for casually. Now the Nassif Reserve, there's a lot for it's in the 70s. Uh, the highest I'm seeing is 79.99. So the Nassif Reserve, which is also by them, um, Dan like brought yeah, to well, Dagum freaking Matt Porter ADHD whiskey just had a pick of it. Right, Dan like brought that to Whiskey Weekend. And it was, it's 107 proof, so it's proof down, and it's an American whiskey. has light whiskey in it, has some bourbon in it, has some other stuff. And to me, I feel like I'm going to be able to enjoy that more, something that light whiskey is introduced into to give the proof, give the sweetness, give all the flavor, but not just be light whiskey, that I like that. And that's 40 bucks. I bought it. I have it at my house. I went out and, and yeah. cool Springs. Has it. Yeah. It's on the shelf. Yeah. It's $42 here. And I love that. Cause it's 107 proof. So one that it drinks so easy. You could like kill yourself in the night. Everybody so. watching this literally needs to get, I've had two obtaniums now. Both are fantastic. Preston says that's 59 99 in Asheville. Well, I mean, it, well, okay. Well, this is a single barrel. I don't know. I don't know how that runs. No, he's saying obtain, online. He's saying obtainium in the yeah, and on, online prices like that are a little bit inflated typically. Yeah. Uh, so he's saying sixty bucks here. Okay, that's probably. I mean, yeah, probably fair. It's probably marked up a little bit online. That's what I just said, dude. I'm, I'm over you. Hell of an episode. Oh yeah. Like I want to commend you for this. You oh. produced the hell out of this. I used to do that a lot. Then I gave up because you didn't care. But, well, now no, you're, I didn't. but now you're coming back around. No, I care. I I, I, I care. No, I know. Yeah, we're good. Um, Thank you all for watching. This has been super fun. Thank you all for listening. Right. This has been super fun. This is a buy for me, especially oh. at the price point. It's delicious. It's fantastic. If you, Especially if you're only going to have one or two light whiskeys on your shelf, this is the one to right. have. <gasps> Obtainium is the one to have. The buy bar pass thing made me remember something. I'll say it at the end. Well, I mean, I'm I'm landing I'm gonna the pitch plane. Patreon yeah, so I'm, hard. Right I'm now. landing the plane. So patreon.com slash the podcast. There's a, there's a few things that are freaking awesome right now. One is that we're doing a bottle giveaway tonight, which is really great. And we do those periodically. This is our second one in a yeah, couple of months. It's, it's gonna continue on as we, we're gonna have uh like right. landmarks. So we yeah, have. so uh, you know, we just went over 150. That was the next landmark. Obviously, the next landmark is 200. Um Anyway, so we're, we we do bottle giveaways to all of our patrons, um, and it's it's a lot of fun. However, um, and I forgot what I was going to say. Just of like you did. just like everything that I always do. Uh, oh, buy bar pass. Yes, another cool thing that we're doing. I don't know if you knew, but knew this or not. I'm in the text thread. 
I, it, Kevin Hasselwander. Yeah, I, I love that you did that one thing I said I hate. Well, but you said I'm going to have to review this. Oh, no, no. We had already talked about that. Though. Okay, okay. Because in the last text thread, anyway, there is a poster that we are doing for all of our, um, if you do the $15 and up level, um, you are getting a, uh, or I, it might be 10, 10 and up. Um, you're getting the a poster. One of our incredible listeners that has been supporting us for years has compiled out of every episode, every episode, our buy bar pass rating system. And it's going to be on a poster. So it's five plus years of our ratings, know, ratings, our review on a poster. So it's a quick little fun thing. And that's going to, you know, basically, you know, every patron at $10 or higher. So that's something really super cool that's coming out. And we do, uh, and we distribute Patreon rewards twice a year. Um, we do it in June and December. It's just way easier for us to do that. So if you hopped in tonight, you're probably not going to get everything until December. So anyway, just a heads up, yeah. but we will redistribute those posters in, de in December for those that didn't get them in June. So we're excited about that. I'm, I'm very, I'm actually very excited about it. Cause I want one. I want like four of them. Yeah. Cause I need to know. Yeah. You get back up. Cause I don't know. I mean, did I say old granddad 114 was a bar? It's definitely a buy, but I might've said bar. Who's to say, I don't know. All right, folks, thank you so much for listening and watching. Uh, rate and review us on your podcast app. If you are watching on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. And Both if you're free listening things to in do your car. And really... You always jump on me. I'm not Well, I you. thought I, you took a breath for a second. I didn't, actually. I was mid-sentence. You were taking a breath? No, I actually... We'll review the day. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up and subscribe, both free to do and really help us out. We appreciate it. And if you're listening in the car, don't do it while you're in the car. But as soon as you get to of the office, I want you to saunter on over to youtube.com slash the podcast. And I want you to subscribe. Because if if we if if our podcast listeners transitioned over to YouTube, it'd be great. That would be great. We love you. Thank you. I love that you think you produce this thing. I just... It's so cute. I teed it up like we normally do. Our cadence is typically pretty daggum good. All right, folks. We don't know Jack. But we'll drink it. That was fun. The whiskey started hitting us at the end, and we kind of fell apart. But I really like what I we did. Literally, I literally lost complete train of thought. That isn't the whiskey. That's your brain. That's just, that's just normal. I mean, I would... <laughs> Folks. You know, if you take too much Benadryl, that can happen. You know what I'm saying? But like, I didn't. Thank remember you, when everyone. Brett, remember when Brett Moore came over here? I do remember. And he, act, he, he tracked mud in your house. Well, but he didn't remember he took Benadryl. And then he drank, he drank a, lot, a of lot of whiskey. And he tracked mud in your house. He did track mud. All right, folks. Thank you all for watching. We're about to go There live. was one rule, Brett. We're going to go live on Patreon next to give away some, give away some bottles. Some bottles. And uh, thank you all. Happy birthday, Dan. Thank you for watching. Uh, Julie said we could have a carnival at her house anytime. Oh, dude. I will literally, I will, I will bob for apples in Julie's name like three out of five days a week. I don't, I don't. Work days. I don't think that work be, days. I don't think that should ever be on the internet. But thank you all. I'm going to end this. Bye. Just end it. You're going to need to end.